the NBA is great because you do play every day unless you're losing. And then it becomes very, very difficult. I don't think people understand that. They're always like, if you have a bad game, it's great. We get to play tomorrow. But if that's a bad game and a bad game and a bad game and how you keep the players to buy in and believe in what you're trying to teach and that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And if we can do this, at some, at some point you're gonna see rewards. I'm Mike Wells, assistant coach with the Utah Jazz. You know, I started playing like everybody else at a young age and uh, ended up going to a small Christian college in Ohio called Mount Vernon Nazarene. And the guy I played for just kept saying, hey, what are you gonna do afterwards? Do you wanna coach? Have you thought about grad school? Do you wanna try to do this? And he's the guy that kinda started to get me thinking about coaching. Uh, I was an intern for one year with the Houston Rockets. I got there in August of 94, so they had won the championship against the Knicks in 94. I got there right after that. And literally, I think there were eight people in the front office the day I got there. Just fell in with a really good group at a really good time. Rudy Tomjanovich was the head coach, uh, Carol Dawson, and then the current head coach of the Bulls, Jim Boylan, was the video guy. And Jim's the guy that took me under his wing, showed me what we needed to do. And at that point in 94, everything was just going from VHS to we had our first computer. That year in 95, us and the Orlando Magic had the only two computerized systems in the league. We both make it to the finals. It's really because of Shaq and, and Dream, but we make it to the finals. The rest of the league goes digital, I get hired, and the rest is history. I think I was the first this, uh, intern in the Rockets history. I don't think there was anybody even an intern. Nobody was doing internships at that time. We just kind of created things as we went along. We started our first office was a, a closet, literally a closet with an old teacher's desk in it. Um, and then you had all these VCRs everywhere because everything was really VCR and deck to deck. And then you just gradually start being able to transition things over to a computer. And at that time it was so new that you know, you're trying to figure out what you can use the computer for. I think this will be my 25th year kind of doing this and just trying to, how the evolution of the league has gone, how the league has changed, but how coaching has changed, how stylist play has changed. It's just new all the time. To be in the NBA was just surreal. Blood alone with a team that had Elijah Wan and Drexler at the time, and then we transitioned into Barkley and Pippen and Yao Ming, and I mean, all these players that came along after that, you know, you're from a small, small town, you don't really think about NBA, at least I didn't, you know, it's like, well, how can I get to the highest level of college or whatever, but, you know, it just kind of evolves and then you're in it and you're just trying to, I, I love every day of it. I think as an assistant coach, one of the things Rudy told me is you just really get, can never have a bad day. As an assistant, you have to have good days because if you have a bad day and you project that onto a player, you might lose his respect or he just doesn't know how to take you. And the head coach can have bad days and get on players, but as an assistant, it's gonna be your support. So you just try to come in every day prepared, organized, and be in as, as good a mood as you can possibly be, even though it's been possible to be great every day, to be that guy that is consistent and organized and whatever Quinn needs or a player needs, then I'm gonna be able to get it for him. I mean, that's probably, that's the best and the worst because if it takes a while to get that positive reinforcement, it becomes very challenging. We have a very, very special uh, group. Quinn has been amazing to work for. Our, our organization um, from the top down has been amazing. Being an assistant coach in this league has been great. I love it, whether it's here in college, um, I feel like I'm in the role that I'm pretty good at. Um, I feel like I'm, I can help coaches, I can help their players, and uh, I kind of know what needs to be done. So I don't know what the, the road is ahead other than um, just trying to be a really good assistant coach and where that leads me to, we'll, we'll take it when it comes.